Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, I didn't realize this thing was Mach 2. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out the Yak 141, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And uh, also checking out the new... Oh, excuse me. Um, we're going to be checking out the Yak 141, uh, ejection seats, and the supersonic cone that um, has been updated. I was really hoping that they were going to update the afterburner because at like a nighttime battle, the afterburner struggling a little bit. But I really got to say this update um, is, is more like a patch, I would say. Um, it's just really nice, these quality of life um, additions to the game. Now, what is that for? Whoa, look at this intake here. Like that's one thing that really like blows my mind uh, with Russian aircraft is just all the, like the strange intakes they have. This one's really not that strange, but uh, just for where I first started realizing this was the MiG-19. Look at all these intakes. Good gosh. <laughs> um, I know someone told me what these were before, but if you guys know, comments below. Let's go ahead and see what we have to work with here. Okay, we got 16. Oh, we got to upgrade here a little bit. All right, so mm, we're still struggling with the four slots. I thought they designed this thing, you know, also to go super, you know, supersonic and uh, Mach 2, but I thought they wanted some more hard points. What's stopping them from MiG 27ing this and just sticking bombs on the exterior part of the fuselage? So just like the Yak, I mean, we, we do have here. Let's just bring up the Yak, because this is what it was designed, not from, but to replace. This is the load we have. So we do get better, um, excuse me, better weapons, better missiles, more bombs. But uh, well, this is 9.7, and this is 12.0, which really surprised me. I... I didn't realize this thing was Mach 2. I just thought it was like a supersonic. Uh, but as you can see, we've got some really good ground loads. Just nothing too interesting to customize with, but very... Wow. Now that's interesting. So this is the first aircraft that can have four of these. That's gonna... These are just mega monster IR missiles. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna use these. There's no other reason to use the uh, the R60Ms. And the best part about VTOL aircraft is that you spawn on the carrier. I love the way these Russian car <laughs> carriers look. Okay, opening the fan. Ooh. Oh, wow. It, it, just, it just blows my mind that the F-35 declassified tops or the top speed that they tell us is... 1.6 Mach, and this thing's well faster than that. Okay, up. So, so this is different than the F-35 by a little bit with in terms of, like, where the fans are and stuff, but it just still really blows my mind that Lockheed funded this, or helped funded it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Wow, look at that attention to detail right there. The twisting of the engine to allow the the negative angle. Wow, that's a lot of moving parts. I wonder why they couldn't... Yeah, that's a lot of moving parts. Okay. Here we go. Brakes. Oh, where's my hover button? I don't, I, I don't have it assigned in uh, the test flight. Can I afterburn in this mode? No, I can't. Okay. I, I was about to say, that'd be ridiculous. Okay, we'll give it some forward momentum here. That is so weird to look at. It blows my mind how, how this whole engine... Like, just rotate the, the nozzle. Like, that's some serious... Uh, that's some serious material they're using for this. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we can use afterburner. 
Let's see when it wants to start up. Probably when it's not aimed at the metal of the aircraft. So it looks at like maybe 65. Okay, it's going to allow me to do afterburner at 56%. That's that's crazy. Holy cow. How did anything melt on this? Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Oh, okay, and bye. <laughs> Here, let's slow down a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't last as long as the old shop cone. Let's just try to go transonic here. Yeah, is this about a super cruise? <laughs> Dude, I actually bet this thing can super cruise. Like at a higher altitude, it just feels like it can. Lord have mercy. Ooh, that's really cool. This is going to be... Ex what? Like, if you're ground striking in this with a plane like a SU-7 or a... Um, yeah, yeah, we'll just say that SU-7. This is going to be a big hindrance. Okay. Am I in arcade mode? Yeah, I, I, I have to be in arcade mode. Hang on, let's just check the rudders. Yeah, hang on. We're gonna restart this to make sure we're in our we're in realistic mode because that that turn was the very very scary. Okay, test flight. Oh my gosh, what? Wow. Uh. You know, all all YouTubers say this. Dev server can change, right? Okay, I'm gonna put it at fifty seven percent and launcher. <laughs> what is this aircraft? Okay, once I put my gear up, maybe everything has to fold up. No, okay, I, I just might have pressed a, a, a button last time, but this is... I am VTOLing, or a short field takeoff, okay, at a certain speed at, at once. This thing does... I I don't think we're ready for this aircraft. So what if I take it off? Oh my gosh, imagine turning inside. I mean, I know it really won't matter in ground RB too much because someone's just going to missile you anyways. Oh, those sound nice. Um, yeah, this thing is a very ridiculous right now. The acceleration is something that I don't... I This is... This is 12.0 material, but it honestly feels like it honestly feels like it's 13. I mean, let's be honest. We don't really know how these high, these from like 10.7 up. Like it's just a cluster of planes that really yeah, the compression. Oh my gosh. Wow, much slower in mock. It's got like super boosters. This guy, okay, this guy sh should lock now. Oh my gosh. It can carry four of these. What? Okay, now let's look. Let's climb a little bit and see if we can super cruise. Because I feel like it's so broken right now. Oh, let me make sure Banks is... Yeah, Banks is napping right now. Yep. Okay, he's still good. Altitude is increasing, but speed is decreasing by... Yeah, no super cruise yet. Maybe just down a little bit. 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is so sick looking. Oh, man. Wow. That looks phenomenal. But but um, imagine you're like a, a plane that um is like a, a 9.7. Like, this is going to get in your way heavily. You know, but you just pop some air brakes and it goes away, right? That looks great, though. And a full afterburner, and we're right past it. Zoom. Okay, ejection seat. Three, two, here we go. What? Okay, maybe we'll go to the F-16 to try it. Okay, the, you, you, okay, you know what? Oh, no, I'm... I'm Uh-oh. Bangs is up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'll be, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come. Okay, everyone, we're back. Banks uh, just woke up from his nap, and I, I figured, or I didn't figure out, but I was told that it's the A10 in the new Phantom that has the ejection seat right now. Okay, Banks, you ready? Ready? Set, uh. go. Oh! <laughs> Dang, and it's quicker. Okay, it won't do it on the deck. All right, we'll take off a little bit here. All right, Banks, we're going to take off, okay? This is, this is an A10. This is what your middle name is, is uh, inspired by. The Fairchild. Stop, thanks. No, no more licking the mic. It's not food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go, Banks. We're gonna take off. Whoa, we're in the air. Okay, yeah, look, guys, look how fast it is. Boom. Beautiful. Now I wish you could just. Oh, there he is. Nice. And there goes the seat down to the ground. Oh, and look how the parachute's working. It's like catching some wind. Yeah, look at that. It's like it's it's swaying in the wind. Nice touch. It's not just one of those 2012 parachutes. Let's see if we can go see him. Up, up, up. up. You want to go up? Okay. Yep, yeah, we're going to go up. We're going to go up. Okay, let's see where he is. Oh, look, that's where he landed. Is he is he walking around? I think it would be cool. Now, now this is something that I, I, I don't think... I don't know. I, I think it would be cool... There you go, buddy. I think it would be cool in uh, Ground RB if, like, a pilot shot down, a helicopter can go rescue him. And, and fly him back to base and maybe give him, give that player half SP that he lost or something like that. But at top tier and where helicopters are, it really, it just, it's, it will take too much time. Here, let's, um, we're going to eject over the airfield. Now we're going to have to eject before the airfield because, you know, we're, we're not going to slow down that fast. All right, good. He's he's watching his show. Okay, right here's good. Eject. Now. Here he comes. <laughs> here, let's go drive over by him. Oh, you back? Okay, look, Banks. Look, there, there's a parachute guy. Nice. Look at that animation. Okay. Banks, you want to put the headset on? Here, here you go. Okay, it's going to make a loud noise. Ooh. I think he fell over here. Up, oh, yeah, he, uh, he I, I don't, I don't think he, he, he survived that too well. 
You hear that sound? That's an airplane. I know. That's right. Ready, set, go. Okay, and over the objective, there goes a, a little cute F-16. Oh, yeah, my, sorry, my, my, my buttons aren't locked. Oh, they don't even have anything on them. Did we just get hit by something? Did we get hit by an SBAA? Where is this gun even coming out? What the? Oh my gosh, right underneath the intake? I assume that none of the debris gets in the intake, right? Okay, let's fire another one. Gosh, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. Here we go. Well, that, that thing has so much power right there. Oh my gosh, so fast too. I don't think we'll catch him. Oh my gosh. Wow, those contrails are uh, very strong. I, I, oh, 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 crap, crap. I was just, I was just firing on whatever I heard. Oh, please don't kill him. Please don't. Okay. It's, 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 it's going to kill him. It's going away too fast. I'm sorry. Guys, this thing is going to be unreal in ARB. I mean, uh, Bye. It's just such an easy missile. I mean, and you can start tracking before you're even ready to turn. Okay, 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 guys. We we get the picture here, okay? This is a very easy missile to use. Fellas, I've been your host, Fly Daily. This is going to be an insane top-tier fighter for ARB. I don't really see much use for it in ground RB. I mean, I mean the, the, the dumb bombs are going to be great, but uh, for 12.0, there's really going to be no point to use those when there's other weapon systems. But holy cow, ARB, watch out. These, these R27s. And, you know, I don't even really know how well these guys do, the radar missiles, but... Yeah, I can carry four of them. Like these are just the I like using these the most just because you don't have it, it's easy come, easy go. You just lock and fire, and then the player has no idea it's coming. Been your host fly daily. We'll uh be taking out that uh ridiculous anti-air, I think, for next video. Thanks for being here, guys. Be good. Peace out.